Zal and Rose founded Kingston's iconic Shea Piggy restaurant back in 1979, then went on to open another Princess Street landmark, the Pan Chancho Bakery. Eating, enjoying friends, sharing food, uh, very much uh, a big part of their lives, yes. Zoe Yanofsky says her father and stepmother's passion inevitably led to the Zal and Rose School Breakfast Fund. The idea was born to um, fill the need of kids in school being hungry and unable to learn as a result and us being in the business of food and um, finding a way to pair that together um, because our, we love food and we want people to eat and be healthy and happy. It's a bit astonishing how many kids are at school hungry. The Memorial Fund, launched in 2004, benefits the Food Sharing Project at more than 50 schools in the Limestone District. Principal Brenda Moore runs the project and says it's filling a real need. It's filling tummies. We know that you can't teach a child anything if they're hungry. That's got to be the first order of the day. So when they come to school, at the very beginning of their day, it's great to start with breakfast. It's a bit of a scramble to figure out how we're going to get all those bowls of cereal full. So when we have something like the Zoll and Rose School Breakfast Fund that we know every year we are going to get some funding from, that really helps us. When you're a little, a little child and you haven't maybe had a big supper and you come to school and there's all these things going on around you, you really need to have something in your tummy to keep you going for the day. And that's wonderful to see because what we want to do is just make it part of their day. We don't want to center anybody out. We don't want to have anybody feel embarrassed about the need. If you come to school hungry, you can get breakfast at school and go on with your day. Every December, Shea Piggy and Panchancho host a charitable breakfast to raise more money for the fund. We feed everyone and it's a really festive time and the hope is that people will leave a donation on their way out and they certainly do. They really do in droves and each year it has grown and grown and grown and we've been able to give nice big checks to the food sharing project every year and of course it's an endowment fund which means um, that when you have a fundraiser, the money isn't gone the next day. It means that it sits, it's invested, certain amounts are given yearly, um, but it grows in perpetuity. So it will live on um, forever. From a small nest egg of $20,000, the breakfast fund has grown to over $160,000. Zoe wishes more people knew about the community foundation and the idea of endowment funds. It's a fantastic idea because you don't have to start from zero every time. You don't need to have a huge amount to start it. It's just whatever you can put together and um, it's managed and invested and it grows on. This is a true blue community organization. We happen to be involved in feeding people because that's what we do and that's what we're good at. And what better way for Rosenzall to give than to feed children in school? Food was everything for them.